welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn uh, how to use the word templates provided in dynamic 365 as a excellent feature to do that click on advanced settings and in advanced settings you will find templates option So when you click on the icon at the navigation bar, you will find college templates in business sections. So in the business section, we have an option called as document templates. Click on the document templates. When you click on the document templates, it will allow you to download what templates or upload existing word templates that you have just created. Or you can create new templates from scratch. In this tutorial, we will create a new word template from scratch. So click on the try out feature and click on the new button here. When you click on the new button, it will prompt you if you want to choose Excel template or word template. As we want to show a word template, then click on word template. Once you click on word template, uh, which entity you want to use in that word template, you have to select. Then let's say the account, the entity is our account entity. Now you can you click on select entity button it will prompt you that on which entity that on which relationship entity of account you want to select also okay i just want only the account entity without any relationship for the for my template that's why i will just click on download template without clicking any relationships here now down click on download template so it will prompt you to save your template somewhere so let's select desktop and click on save when you click on save the template is getting saved in your local machine now you can go to your desktop and open this when you open this downloaded template from dynamics 365 you will see nothing in the page this is just a blank word form okay what we need to do is to work on this template design with data you have to click on enable editing if it is showing now you have to enable the developer option for this microsoft word window okay to do that go to file and go to options and in the options click on customize ribbon here you have to choose all tabs you will find a developer type here now click on developer and click on add you can see here the developer option is added as a custom or or without doing this just click on the existing developer tab and click ok now you can see the developer option is added here okay now we want to insert some field values or field mappings from the entity of account to this word template to do that click on xml mapping pane in xml mapping pane you will find 
the entities available in this template okay you can see if you select the option xml part you will find the entity with all the fields of this account entity you can see here okay now i just want to write down something here dear and this is just a static text and i want to use the dynamic um, name of this account so i will move on, move to the xml values and select the full name So I have to show the name of this account. You have to scroll down to find out. So this is the name. Just right click and you will find insert con content control there are many controls that we can use that is rich text plain text picture checkbox combo box and drop down list and that picker and i want to show the account name as a plain text that's why i have, I have to select plain text so you can see here the name is inserted here and i will give a comma here and write down something thank you for your interest Okay, and please find the below data. Okay, I will give some more information. Let me use the account number. I'm just typing down this colon. I will use this account number as a plain text. Okay. Now this is just a, just for a demo purpose and for article purpose. So I will just click on save the form. Okay, and I'll close this. Now my uh, temp word template is ready with some data. I will move on to the uh, Dynamics 365 platform and upload template. Now I will browse this already created template on my desktop. Click this and click on. So I will change this text first. Otherwise it will make confuse account letter template i'll move here and click cancel and again upload the template and browse it for selecting the new renamed word template account letter upload when you click on upload it will it will try to upload your word template in dynamics 365 platform and it will show it is activated now okay and it will show what is the name of the template and uh, some more information related to the upload now we move on as the template is related to account template so this template can be available for all accounts in the system so i will move on to the main window and refresh once to check if the template that i have uploaded is available for me or not to download with dynamic data now i will select the accounts and i will select one customer or one account and in the ribbon bar you can see here template option so you can see here if you go to the more option 
you will find word templates option if you click that you will find the uh, account letter template that we have just uploaded okay now click on this template it will try to generate the dynamic data for that account now let's save it to desktop when you open this just to download a template you will find the dynamic data of the uh, customer okay you can see that this is the account name and this is the account number what we learned is we can create a uh, uh, reusable template or uh, letters uh, on the go using this word templates concept and uh, download it and send it to the user uh, in a just just in a click while click away okay so this is the importance of the word template or excel template so in in next uh, tutorial i will tell you some uh, big use of this word template or a uh, and i will also explore some more options in developer uh, tab of microsoft uh, office or microsoft word so for now thank you and hope this will help for your uh, uh, development